First up for you tonight, the lines have been drawn and now comes the fallout. The redistricting plan in our state is good news for Fairfield County, but not so good for the eastern part of the state. And that is because a population shift will add a house seat and also take one away. Chief political reporter Susan Raff tells us what it all means. She is live at the state capitol in Hartford tonight. Susan. Stanford is really the winner in all of this. It is the second largest city in the state. It's also the fastest growing. But on the other hand, Eastern Connecticut, not so good for them. They have been losing population, and this plan will definitely change districts and change voting. Right now, Woodstock is one town and one district, but that's about to change. We're splitting the town of Woodstock in half, and the district for the 50th is a couple hundred feet through a field for me. Jay Swan, the first selectman, says the town will be divided with the new redistricting plan, and voters will have different ballots and different elected leaders. Every 10 years, a census shows population shifts and requires changes. This year, the changes are dramatic. We took very seriously the charge, obviously, about keeping towns whole where you can. The House Speaker, along with the majority and minority leader, are responsible for redistricting. One of the factors as well is just where the population growth is. Um, and what, you know, typically, I think we all look for areas that there was some population decline. Nearly all the population growth recorded in the 2020 census came from Fairfield County. No one seeking re-election has been drawn out of their current district, but several face harder races as a result of the changes. Most notably, Representative Brian Smith, a freshman from Colchester. Unlike Woodstock, he will now have one big district. See, I'll be representing a, uh, a group of people that don't, uh, that haven't been represented by me or perhaps anyone from Colchester previously. <clears throat> um, you know, so for them and for me both, we're going to have to get to know each other. The learning curve could be huge here, and in fact, the lines are still being drawn. The Senate must come up with their own redistricting plan by the end of the month, and then there are the congressional districts. But it seems that the House plan is going to be the most dramatic. We are live tonight at the State Capitol in Hartford. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.